Hi, I'm Jason, and um, I'm going to show you kind of um, how the, I, uh, the the Pizza app works on the different devices. I'm down here in the right-hand corner, if you can't see me. Um, this is an iPhone 4. This is what I use on a daily basis. This is um, the latest iPhone uh, iPod Touch. It's got the elongated screen like the iPhone 5. And this is just an iPad 2. So um, I've got all the dimensions I need here for the iOS devices at least. So basically, um, I'm going to kind of go through and show you the project file, and I already tried to record this once, and because I've got so much going on my computer, I can't load them directly onto the preview, but I, but I can show you the project file because I already have previewed them separately. And um, once you kind of see what I did, you'll understand. Anyway, so basically, if you look here, I've got this scene here for iPhone 5, this scene here for iPad, and this scene here for iPhone 4. If you go in, you can see exactly what I mean. This one's, this one's set up for iPhone 5. This one here is set up for the iPad, and this one here is set up for the iPhone 4. Now, this might be a little weird, but lately with timers in Game Salad, they seem to be firing wrong, and a lot of times if you do some of those other tricks that people do, um, parts of your your um, your game or app or whatever won't be where they need to be. I'm, I'm not really sure why. I think it has something to do with the memory things they've been doing in the last two builds. So I've had actually templates that I was releasing that were completely destroyed, that, so I wasted a lot of time um, because um, the timers aren't, aren't functioning properly lately. So, so um, yeah, so basically I have all these different ones separated out, and then I have one scene here, it's just a blank black scene, and it has a, a little actor in the middle here, and when you click on that actor you'll see it tells the game to constrain the display width size to the game screen size, which is only um, on the actual device. Like you, that's why you, I said you can't really preview it in the window. That's why I was talking about test flight. Um, but and then you'll see here if the green if the game screen size height equals 480, like this guy here, um, then it will go to the scene for the iPhone 4. If the screen size height is 568, like this guy here, it'll go to the iPhone 5. And then if it is over a thousand, um, it will go to this guy right here. So, and it and it works. Uh, it works pretty well. And I'll show you. Like I said before, I'm not trying to trick you. This is the same file size. And actually, I'll show you where it's loading to. So, here on the iPad, the only one I've even previewed, I cleared out my queue so you could see, is this project called iPhone 5 New New. And it's, it's the same on all the devices. When you click here, it goes in, and you'll see this first scene it loaded, and now it's on the iPad. And it's running smooth. So you go to About, go to Welcome, go to Menu, go to Contact, it's all there, it's all working. Get Directions, Video, it all works. So that's that one. So here on the iPhone 4, I loaded it up, and I think I have a couple other things in the queue here, but as you see, it's the same app, Pizza iPhone 5.5. 5. And it loaded up just fine. And if you scroll through... Some of the layout is changing, but you can actually do that in the template. You can make it whatever you want. I'm sure you're not going to keep it a pizza app anyway. So, And then for the iPhone 5 resolution, here's the preview. Let's see down here. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm, pizza iPhone. Where's it at? Here it is, Pizza iPhone 5.5. 5. And there's no stretching of the images, everything is the way it should be. You see there, you go, and it works. And all the text in here is actually display text, which also goes in hand in hand with this because when you try to do too many weird size changes, sometimes the text text gets stretched out. This way, you can actually just drop in the text you need from whatever business, whatever you're trying to do, and you actually have more control over it. So you can choose the text size, you don't have to shrink it down, which causes problems. They always say it's best to start with the iPad size, but in this method, you can really do whatever you want. I still recommend starting with the iPad size, but it works, it works. So so that's how it works. I mean, um, it's a different method than a lot of people use, but I'm currently doing some comic book reader apps, and it is definitely, um, 
it's definitely very important to be able to control the end user's experience. Um, actually, actually, I went to design school too. You know, the difference between the iPad and the iPhone is really, um, it, it, it's huge. You know, button sizes really should change. Like a lot of things should actually change. You really shouldn't try to just move things around on the screen. And then with Game Salad, if you're trying to add too many different size changes to things, and do all that stuff like something is going to go wrong something is going to go wrong like it's getting better and better but you know in the middle of everything you don't want something to go wrong in your app and have people complain about it because you know when it comes to the app store that's the worst thing ever it's the worst thing ever but uh... so it works it um... it's formatted any way you want and also you can change it any way you want basically i just wanted to basically show that you can put videos in your um, game salad project files you can link out to google maps and basically it looks integrated just things like that and it, and it, and it works pretty well so um, I hope you like it and I hope you understand kind of where I'm coming from um, you don't have to purchase it if you don't want to but if you do want to it works so you, you can uh, do whatever you want with it you're free to keep it as much the same or change as much as you want so um, thanks